This right here is the rocket fruit, the worst fruit in the game. And this is the Buddha fruit, the best fruit in the game for grinding. And a fruit that has very high demand. So boys, today in this video, we are gonna try to trade our rocket fruit all the way to the Buddha fruit in the next 24 hours. To make this thing more challenging, I'm only gonna give myself 5 fruit rolls from Gacha and only 200 Robux to make the value balance. If that value balance thing doesn't make any sense, I'll give you guys a general knowledge about Buddha fruit. It's one of the rarest fruits and one of the hardest fruits to get and one of the fruits that has really high demand and the best for the grinding. So if you're really gonna wanna trade for a Buddha, you probably had to give away Blizzard, Rumble or sometimes people give dough for it. So now you know how hard it is to get the Buddha fruit, do me a favor, if you have a roll that rocket fruit from the gacha, hit the like button. If you're not lying, it'll turn blue. And hit the subscribe button, now let's get into it. So if I forgot to mention what is gonna happen if I lose this challenge, I have to reset with every single fruit in my inventory. As you guys can see, I have a lot of mythics and almost all the legendaries except Buddha fruit and this common, nobody cares about those fruits. And you guys know I haven't spent a single Robux on trading or buying fruits. So this is all my pure hard work. And if I had to reset with all this, it's gonna be really sad. And I hopefully it's not gonna happen. So start the clock. Let's go ahead and reset with these fruits. Let's roll. Oh guys. You guys actually gotta hit the like button for this one. I have to reset with all these fruits. And final and final, it's time for our magma fruit to go. Not the magma, guys. You guys could actually hit the like button for this one. There it go. There it goes. And it's time for the quake as well. Three, two, one. Reset. There it goes. Huh. So guys, now I have reset all the fruits except. The fruits that are upwards, going upwards from Buddha. That means Lao, uh, Spider, Sound and stuff. And now it's time to hop onto a public server. Alright guys, now we have gone into a public server. There's a lot of people talking about Buddha and Mammoth trading and stuff. So let's go ahead and find a person who can trade me spin for my rocket. Because obviously it's the one we had to get with. Alright, this guy's the person. This guy's the person. We had to just convince him to give us spin for the rocket. This is the one, this is the one, this is the one. Oh, okay, let me do something. All right, all right, he has to be clear. This is the one, this is the one, boys. All right, all right. All right, he's gonna give us spin this time. Let's go. This is the moment, this is the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we got the spin, boys. Two, one. GG, GG. Thanks, man. All right, so now we have to trade our spin for a shop for which is literally impossible. Because I think there should be around 40% value difference maximum. So, spin is not that expensive, so we can trade it for something like chop. So, we are gonna have to use our first Zalis roll here. And I'm gonna serve off because there is no point rolling in here. Nobody's interested in, in trading this server. So, guys, I just server hopped and this factory just started. So, if I get a fruit from this factory, I'm gonna count it as a Zalis fruit roll. Otherwise, that's gonna be cheating. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, I actually got a fruit. What is it? Oh, we actually got something good. Uh, we got sad. I think we can trade this for something like light or something like that. That's actually really good. All right, I put in the chat a spin plus sand for light. And this guy, oh, this guy, this guy showed up and said he have on light so he can give me the normal light fruit they have. So this is going to be a big W if the, if the guy actually gives it to me. Oops, quick technical difficulty. Uh, this guy already had sand, so he had to reset with it to give me light for sand you know what i'm saying all right let's go ahead and get light there we go we got it we got the light boys let's go right we are making a big progress from this ghost is pretty good right three two one oh yeah we got the ghost let's go this is a big progress right there all right but this is my plan now i'm gonna try to roll using my second roll to get something good and trade it with the ghost for something like magma or quick Oh boys, this is my old. Oh, you guys know this. I have a brain that's. <laughs> alright, alright, here it goes, here it goes. Rocket? You gotta be kidding me. 
Boys, I convinced this person to give me his magma for my ghost using my big brain, smart brain trading skills. If I say so, okay, that is making sense. Anyways, this guy is gonna give us magma. That's actually the best one we can get in the rare category. So my plan is to trade this magma fruit for a quake fruit, but people say quake fruit have absolutely no value. So I really don't want to risk it. So I'm gonna keep my magma and go for the plan B. That means we're gonna try to roll our three remaining rolls from Gacha and try to get the best fruit we can and trade that for the Buddha. If that actually don't go well, we might have to spend some Robux. But keep in mind that we our maximum limit is 200 Robux. I mean, I really can't spend 200 Robux straight away and try to give him the perm 200 Robux and my magma for Buddha. It's gonna be pretty easy. But to make things spicier, I'm gonna give myself another rule where if I spend one or more than one Robux, I have to downgrade my current using fruit to a lower rarity. So if I spend 50 or more than 50, I have to downgrade it by another one. And if I spend 100 or more than 100, then I have to put it straight up to the common tier. So I'm gonna put all the common fruits in there and spin a wheel. So whatever the fruit lands on, I have to get it. So I currently have Buddha. Hopefully that's not gonna happen. If we are all out of option, it's better to do that and sacrifice our Buddha for all the fruits that I currently have in my inventory. Challenge is a challenge. Here we go. So guys, we kinda had a problem. From the last trade goes to Magma, we ran out of trade. So we had to wait two more hours. Two more hours from that time means it's 12 a.m. I'm not really good at 10 times, but trust me, it's midnight. I can't stay that late. So I had to sleep and we wasted good 12 hours for that and we currently have 8 more hours left to do this. So we're gonna complete our plan B and roll 3 more fruits. We have 3 more left so we can roll those 3 to see if we can get any luck. If not we might have to go for the robux idea and we have to sacrifice our Buddha. Let's do this. So guys I rolled the last 3 fruits. So the only good fruit we got we can use in this challenge is the lava fruit. So I, I would say we're hopping consistently to find someone who can trade this and there's absolutely no one still. So finally we have to use the robux to get these trades done. Oh I have to lose all of my inventory. So we're gonna sacrifice our Buddha and we're gonna go. And this dude right here is actually agreed to do it only for the permanent chop. So let's go ahead and do this trade. Hold on, hold on, let me let me type this real quick. Alright, let's go to shop. Go, okay, wait, wait. Alright, let's go down and gift. Store in my inventory. Gift. Oh, 100 Robux down the drain. You guys actually gotta hit the like button for this one. Let's go ahead and buy it. Wait. Uh, loading again. There it goes. Done. Bought the item. Now we are gonna trade for the Buddha. Come on, boy. This is the end of the challenge. We are gonna do it. Come on, come on, jump in, jump in. All right, we got him. Permanent chop, magma, and love. Trade accepted. There it goes. GG. Our first trade of the day, getting a big W and the Buddha fruit. And guys, now we've got the Buddha and challenge is a challenge. I have to spin the wheel and whatever this gets, I have to change the fruit to it. So I'm going to lose my Buddha, but I have to keep this fruit until I complete the next video fully. And till then, I can't change this fruit. So let's go ahead and spin this wheel. Shuffle it up. Shuffle it up, spin it. Give me something good. Rocket. I mean, I'm not even mad. It's not spin. That's all I want. All right, boys. Challenge is a challenge. We got rocket. It's time to change. Let's go ahead. Rock to get ya. Continue. Rocket equip. Confirm. And we officially completed our challenge and changed our block fruit to rocket and we do not have Buddha anymore. And yep, that's the end, I guess. So guys, that's how our trading challenge is going to end. And if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know down in the comments. And if you guys also want to see more of these videos, 
Also, let me know down in the comments. And once again, before you leave, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a very nice day.